Hello everybody, Max Cavalera here, and you're watching Chaos TV. Okay, so what's up everybody? We are here in the tour bus of Soulfly in front of Nosturi Helsinki and we have here guest Max from the band. So first of hello and welcome to Chaos TV, man. For the third time, I guess? Yeah, looks like, huh? <laughs> you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you just came to Finland through ferry, so how was the ferry trip to Finland? It was, it was good, you know, it was uh, very calm, but very long. 14 hours or something, you know, you wake up and we thought we're, we are there and they, we asked the guys, ah, six more hours, go back to bed, you know. <laughs> but it was good because it's a day off, everybody needs a rest. Yeah, yeah. It's, this tour is long, you know, it's like, this is the seventh week. Okay. So it's a long tour, but very good, very good tour. Okay, so I was actually going to ask that how has the tour like generally been so far for you guys? Yeah, very, very amazing. All the shows are packed and very very cool uh, everybody liking all the bands we have Lodi Kong Insight you know King Parrot we are doing a great show playing everything uh, we play like five new songs of Archangel we play everything from all the Soulfly records we play some Sepultura stuff that people want to hear and we also doing a Lemmy tribute for Ace of Spades okay. you know so it's really nice I was actually going to ask you that you have that Archangel album out now. So, what kind of like feedback have you generally gotten from the album, and have you been pleased with it? I'm be very pleased. You know, it's it's a very uh, it's a very I think uh, it works good live album. First song is we sold our social metal. It's like an anthem. Yeah. Everybody loves it right from the beginning. It's gonna be an energetic show, and then we play Archangel, Ishtar Rising. Uh, sodomites, you know, and uh, yeah, I think combination between new songs and old songs is a really good together. It goes great together. So you also mentioned that you are playing a Motorhead cover. So how like influential musician was Lemmy to you? Big influence, you know, like even the name Sepultura come from Motorhead song "Dancing on Your Grave," from uh, "Another Perfect Day." Um, we have, uh, I always love Motorhead. I love the energy. I think Lemmy was the, the godfather of trash. He, he didn't like this title, but yeah, yeah. But yeah. he, but he, he always uh, claimed that he's a rock guy, rock, not a metal yeah, guy. Yeah. Rock and roll, you know. But yeah, uh, yeah we are all of us trashers that know he started from him. So we, uh, you know, we we think is he was like, you know, always big influence on the look. You know the rebel look and how he did everything his own way. All those things influence all of us. You know. Did you had the chance to meet him like many times? Do you have like any good memories when it comes to him? A couple of times, yeah, we met. Uh, first time we met was great. Was uh, in, in uh, London in '89. Uh, <clears throat> Sepultura was touring. We went to some pub. Uh, we had a day off and went to a pub. And Lemmy was there playing his little fruit machine. You know. Okay. And, uh, so I got kind of drunk and <laughs> got courage. Finally, went to bud, you know, bug him, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm from Brazil, man. I'm a big fan, and he's just told like, leave me alone, you know, and grab a whiskey bottle and pour it in my head <laughs> that he was drinking, you know. And I felt it was the greatest thing ever. I thought <laughs> I was just being baptized by Lemmy, you know. <laughs> so that was great. I've I've heard that he he was like usually quite kind to basically everyone. So basically not many people has like anything bad to say about yeah. him well yeah i mean he was telling me to fuck off but <laughs> but you know throwing the drink in my head leave, leave me alone you know but yeah it was uh it was cool i still like it <laughs> so i read from an interview that there is actually like as a celebration for the sepultura roots album there's like a u.s tour coming with you and your brother playing the album full so could you tell us a bit about that yeah, it's on, right now on the stages of organizing that, and we're gonna see what can we do to make it special. And we we found some stuff like the backdrop, the original roots backdrop. Oh, so cool. we get to use that, and uh, these two faces that were in a stage uh, during the last uh, roots tour, they call Kahanka. They okay. are Brazilian faces, so we're gonna use that. Igor's very excited. I'm very excited. I think it's cool. Twenty years, you know, it's a it's an opportunity to play the whole record. Yeah. 
and uh, so I think it's going to be really good. So I guess the fans in Europe are all also expecting to see that tour in Europe. So do you have like any plans to play that also in full in Europe also maybe after the States tour? I think if if it works out and uh, people like it, you know, and, and accept it, then we can come to Europe with it, which I think will happen. You know, I love to bring it to here too, yeah. you know. And would I be guess awesome. the fans would all also want to see it as well. I think so. Because <laughs> you know? it's so classic album. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a good idea, and I think it's um, it'd be worth it to come here and do it here as well. You know. So there has been like 20 years now since the release of the album. So how hard it was for a metal band in 1996 in Brazil? How hard was it basically to even come out from those areas where you c- came, basically? It was hard, but it was uh, also the other side of the coin was exotic you know so people were like um interested in us you know so it created a kind of curiosity about yeah. who's this brazilian guys you know yeah, and, yeah. and um and i think what we did was cool because we found our own way you know we create albums that started like copy of european bands like slate like uh creator and celtic frost and then became our own thing with stuff like Beneath the Remains, Arise, Chaos AD yeah, yeah. and Roots, you know, it's our own, own uh, we found our own uh, identity, you know, yeah, and I think that's really important that the band did that. Yeah, and you use basically those traditional, like traditional elements within your music that basically none of us Europeans at least can do because that was basically from your roots what you did right. there. Yeah, and, and I know it was for me very especially the roots album was very special because i got to go to a tribe visit a tribe in brazil and um you know uh, growing up in brazil we never seen a tribe only only what we heard and saw in bit on tv uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. special that natu- not national geographic special yeah. you know but be there physically with them was super special okay so I read uh, from an old interview that you have said in an interview that you would like to organize your own festival someday. So mm-hmm. if you would organize your own festival and decide like a headliner for a three-night festival for each night, what bands would you like to have on your own festival and why? Well, there's a lot of bands. I like a lot of the underground, you know. Uh, would you like to, it to be like more of an underground metal festival? Yeah. 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 Probably, be, for me, probably be better, you know, because that's the music I listen to, you know, yeah, so, yeah. you know, I like a lot of different stuff, and so, beat grindcore stuff like uh, Nails and, you know, uh, Home Record, Genocide Pact, and uh, s- some some kind of death metal stuff like Origin, Aeon, um, Hour of Penance, you know, Blood Truth, um, yeah, th- those are the the kind of stuff I listen to uh, most. You know, it's this extreme metal. You know, it's yeah, my yeah. favorite. I like a lot of trash too. You know, stuff like Havoc and uh, uh, I know they here feeling Lost Society is really yeah, yeah. good. You know, and um, I know I guess you are listening to quite a lot like old school hardcore punk, like I, back in the days at least. Yeah, you know, and that's why I like stuff like Nails and and. Uh, Dead in the dirt and uh, old uh, old wounds. They really got a punk vibe yeah. to it, you know, which is really good. So I also checked out an old interview where you said that you would like someday like somebody to make a document about your life. Mm-hmm. So have you had like any further discussions about the whole topic, like anywhere with some producers, maybe or? Not really. We're just waiting. You know, I would like to have. My favorite guy is Sundam, yeah. that did the uh, Global Metal. Yeah, he's a good when it comes to. You know, so but he, he has to be interested and in, and both of us need to be in the, wanted to do it. You know, yeah, yeah. and uh, so right now we're just kind of waiting. You know, and there's no hurry anyway. You know, this can be for the future. Yeah. yeah. You know, it can be uh, something that a couple of years from now we can still do it. You know.
but that's something that you are looking forward to that you would like to do I it like, somewhere like if, if, if it's just possible like yeah. and somebody has the passion basically to do it because I like this documentaries I saw the Lamy one yeah. you know I really I like, like it, it a lot. you know that's a good one. the Envy one and uh, um, I watch a couple of of, uh, of other ones uh, the, the, the Bob Marley one really good too made by a, a cinematographic and uh I like these documentaries very much. I think this, uh, they give you an uh, insight on the artist visually. Yeah. That you can see it, what you know, what where they come from, where they grow up, where talking to friends of theirs, you know, and yeah. and mine. I think would have been very interesting. I get to go back to Brazil and talk to my old neighborhood friends and stuff. It would have been really cool. They're all still alive, you know. And I think it would be like also. I think it's also like a big part what you are those Brazilian roots so I guess that would be like the most like interesting part of the document I would watch it myself for sure so mm-hmm. yeah we're working on it you know hopefully in the future we get something that <laughs> okay so what does like the future generally hold for you and the band what kind of plans do you have with Soulfly and Cavarella Conspiracy and you have quite a lot of bands always yeah. so touring man this year is all touring uh okay. we finish here we go to russia we have a show in st petersburg one in moscow and then i have a, Europe, a south american tour uh 18 shows in south america central america and then soul fly tours the u.s with suffocation and battle cross and um lodi kong also my kids band and and then i do the roots thing with igor and return to roots and then hopefully some festivals you know come back in the summer for European festivals and keep touring you know all yeah, yeah. throughout the, hopefully I'll be touring all the way to December that's what I'm hoping <laughs> so keeping busy yeah. like I guess it's good for a musician to be busy yeah I love touring you know I think they get so happy after the show that after the, after they watch a soulfly show it's the best feeling talking to the fans after the show they are sweaty wet and happy yeah, and yeah. for me that's the best feeling in the world is to know that i gave them a good show you know yeah so thank you man very much for taking time to do the interview with us and best of luck for the remaining of the european tour uh, anything you want to say as last words to your finnish fans who are watching the interview no just you know kitos Thank you. Thanks, man. And uh, see you in the future. Yeah. Thanks.